He said, today I'm going to expose the real costs that some charging networks don't clearly advertise. We'll reveal the hidden traps that are costing drivers thousands and show you exactly how to drive electric without breaking the bank. Hi guys, my name's Des from The Electric Oracle and I'm basically your money saving expert for EVs. Right, so let's start with some facts. Some charging networks use confusing pricing strategies. They'll advertise rates from certain prices, exclude VAT in their marketing or bury connection fees in the small print. So check this out. Home charging with a standard variable tariff right now costs about 25.73 pence per kilowatt hour. That's the official off-gen price cap rate for July to September 2025. But get an EV tariff with someone like British Gas and you're looking at about just 7.9 pence per kilowatt hour during off-peak hours. Now, compare that to public charging, so for example BP Pulse rapid chargers, they cost about 79 pence per kilowatt hour. Or even pod point fast chargers range from about 40 to 60 pence per kilowatt hour. And Instavolt, they're at 85 pence as I mentioned. But look, here's the data that really floored me when I was researching this for a typical UK driver doing about, about 7,000 miles a year. So did you know that someone driving 7,000 miles per year, I say in a, in a Tesla Model Y, switching from rapid public charging to home EV tariff could actually save about 1,380 pounds per year. And look, that's not a typo, 1,380 pounds. That's a family holiday to Spain. That's like paying off a credit card debt. That's real money. And look, here's the thing. Most EV buyers have no idea these savings even exist because nobody's explaining the real numbers in plain English. Certainly ask you a question. 